everyone welcome to our uh, marine knowledge channel this is your sailor basha so today uh, we are going to see something about uh, how to clean uh, hps filter so this hps filter is for uh, main engine electronic type engine so this is uh, hydraulic power system filter where how we are going to do the maintenance on a hps filter what are all the procedure that we need to follow how to clean how to inspect everything i will try to uh, show in this video we'll go inside the video this unit is called uh, HPS auto filter this is for uh, man BMW ME engines hydraulic filters so now we are going to do maintenance in this filter let's go on so before starting the job stop the power isolate the power after isolating the power change over the valve to bypass so now i am doing the changeover so now the lube oil flow will be going through the bypass filter and uh, now it is safe to open the auto lube oil filter and i have to close the bypass valve this is your uh, bypass valve that means you can call it as at a, as a utilizing valve also so now i am opening all the chamber so always use as i say use proper spanner to open the nuts so now i am opening we have uh, al almost seven chambers so each chambers has around uh, eight to ten number of filters and for all the chambers cover you just need to put a mark so that uh, it will be easy for us to put back when we are done with the job so now we are opening the filter cover so once the cover is opened this is a jack for uh, lifting the cover two bolts we can use it as a jack bolts so once you tighten the jack bolts you can see the cover will come up so this is a easy way to open the filter cover so once uh, the jack up is done the cover will come up easily so just use a 19 bolt to use as a jack for opening the cover so once you are tightening the jacking bolts you can see the cover is coming up so parallelly close all the three jacks so that now you can see the cover is already out so now uh, we can remove the cover okay so parallelly we open we loosen all the nuts for uh, the lube oil chamber cover so we need at least two three people to do this job because it's a bit uh, job which takes long time to complete so presently we are using two crew members and you can see we have opened the cover so carefully lift the cover that's all we had opened the cover and keep it safely in any kind of tray or something this is the lube oil filter unit okay so we open for all the unit we are removing the filters So once the filter is removed you can see uh, we have to clean the cover and put back the cover we 
because uh, the idea of putting back the cover is uh, we should not uh, we can avoid uh, foreign particles entering the lube oil chamber so we put back the cover in all the chamber units just to ensure it is safe from uh, any foreign particles entering the chamber okay okay so this is the filter unit that we are going to dismantle it so this is the this is how it looks always check for the o-ring condition always check for uh, the o-ring condition all the around and uh, check for the top cover for any damage or something just check the filter for any abnormalities so now uh, i'm going to dismantle it so it got a special special tool that uh, to dismantle this filter so this is that uh, ratchet special ratchet to open it so all you need to do is just loosen it no need to put too much effort very little effort is enough so that it will come easily so i'm opening all the units filters So all you need to do is you, just, you have to just loosen it. No, once you loosen it by the tool, then you can open it by manually by hand. You can uh, open it. Okay. So that's all. Once I loosen it, I can open the entire filter by manually. That's all. This is how we have to open it. So now once I opened, I have to put in a bucket so that uh, the filter go don't get damaged so once I removed uh, all the filters we can do the inspection of uh, each and every filters so how to inspect it is very simple you just uh, have to look on it visually check for uh, damages in the notch check for any damages in the filter uh, cover body and you can see the notch inside it it should be free of any kind of dirt or uh, anything any kind of damage so this is the cover just if you check for the cover check for the damage in threads so we open for all the units filter and uh, dismantle it inspect it inspect the cover inspect the filter and everything inspect the o-ring and everything so that uh, the next step for cleaning is first step we already done we dismantled we inspected the filter and we kept the filter in the bucket so once it is dismantled the next step is that we need to put all the filters in a diesel and you can start cleaning by using air so this is how you have to clean and what uh, initially we just clean it by air and then we put the filter inside ultrasonic machine this ultrasonic machine uh, will be under uh, around 80 to 90 degree temperature we set the temperature and this ultrasonic uh, machine can clean the filter very nicely so keep the filter for one hour and then you can remove it stop the ultrasonic and you can remove it and now you can start uh, washing like uh, blowing air in all the filter and it is done so so we do the cleaning for uh, all the filters by air no need to uh clean with uh, other any kind of diesel or something just air is enough to clean this filter and you have to once the air is blown just wipe it with uh, clean clothes and keep it separately so once cleaning is done you have to start dismantle it dismantling is very simple uh, assembly assemble it assembling is very simple just the same way you put back you fit back all the filters in its cover nicely do not over tight it 
and do not uh, damage it so inspect all the filter for any kind of damages and ensure it is cleaned properly ensure its thread is going properly if you feel the thread is not okay rectify it and then assemble it so now we are assembling the chamber So once assembling is done, you put back, uh, you clean it nicely, ensure the o-ring is uh, in a good condition, clean it nicely and tighten it, tighten all the filters and do not over tighten it, if you over tighten it, it may cause damage to your filter threads. Okay, so this is how we have to dismantle this is how you have to clean and this is how you have to inspect and uh, now we are doing the assembling back filter in its cover so almost we are done with 70 percentage of job so next we have to install the cleaned filter in in its place so you can see the filter is very clean o-ring is intact everything is fine now it's time to put back the filter in place so before uh, putting back the filter in place ensure uh, the cover is clean ensure the inside area is clean and just give you a coat of molecule for all the threads all the bolt threads and ensure there is no foreign particles inside the chamber so once that is done for all the chambers take our uh, fuel oil uh, lube oil filter just give you a coat of copper slip on the o-ring now we are ready to box back in its chamber so okay now we are going to box back and cover also ensure it is properly greased and we are putting back so it should go nicely easily it should not get hit in body if it get hit uh, it may damage the filter so you have to install very slowly and easily it should go inside the chamber without any stuck obstructions if it get obstruct that means there is some issues so once your filter is in place all you need to do is put back the cover tighten it ensure it is in right place like uh, all o-ring is intact and ensure it is properly placed so you can see yeah, this should match if it is not match this uh, groove should match if not the cover don't sit so okay almost we are done so we put cover in all the place put back the nuts for all the units for uh, cover is in place so once uh, the nuts all in place then now it's time to tighten all the nuts so there is no particular uh, torque for this uh, cover tightening just you need to give a hand tight normally you can uh, you should know like uh, you should not over tighten it or you should not uh, tight laser so now we are done with uh, tightening okay all cover in place all nuts done tightened all everything is in place no issues okay now it's time to check whether the filter is okay or not whether our job is done perfectly or not so okay our job is done we clean the area now again you change over the valve back to filter so all i do is first uh, your equalizing valve should be opened this is your equalizing valve so that oil flow will go to the auto filter chamber and this is your valve change over valve you have to change over from bypass to auto filter side okay now change over is done 
so once the change over is done you have to have a look on the filter cover for any leakage or something there is no leakage found very nice job is done perfectly next thing is you have to switch on the power for auto filter so i'll switch on the power now okay i switch on the power done okay now our job is done you can see the auto filter area it is clean perfectly no issues no leakage nothing so i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, how to do cleaning so once the uh, power is on you just check the pressure gauge inlet outlet differential pressure it should be okay if you have any queries put in comment box definitely i will reply you so i believe uh, after watching this uh, video you must have got uh, some idea about how to do a uh, hps filter uh, maintenance how to open what are all the precaution that we need to take uh, before opening and uh, what are all the checks that we need to do and how to clean how to assemble back and put back in operation all this thing you must have got some idea about it if you have any queries or any comments please put in comment box definitely i will reply you keep supporting don't forget to share and subscribe our channel with your friends thank you guys